If you're looking for a roundup of stories from the Papua Nui area in the last week, great news, you're in the right place. Keep watching. Kia ora, this is Simon Britton from Think Papua Nui. If you'd like any more details on any of the stories in this recap, see the link in the description. I posted a video overview of the Council's consultation document on proposed projects in the Cranford Street area. I shared some photographs from last month's Dust Till Dawn Youth event. This is likely to run again mid next year. Keep an eye on the Papua Nui Youth Development Trust's Facebook page or their other channels for information. There are currently night closures on QE2 Drive to enable the removal of the wall panels on the CNC overpass abutments just there. Local community organisation Te Oroho Oteo Tahi has commenced a building project on their site between Windermere Road and Condor Avenue. On Tuesday and Thursday evenings, I attended the drop-in information sessions on the Council's proposed transport projects in the Cranford Street area downstream of the Christchurch Northern Corridor. The proposals remain open for feedback until the 19th of August. I posted an overview of the agenda for Friday's meeting of the Waipapa Papua Nui Innes Community Board. I also posted an overview of the joint meeting between the Papua Nui Innes and Coastal Burwood Community Boards, which also took place on Friday. I shared an article I wrote on one of the key decisions that's been made by Council on the management of traffic downstream of the Christchurch Northern Corridor, that's in here as well. A developing sinkhole forced the closure of the southbound lane on Main North Road by Preston's Road. This was Think Papua Nui's top post of the week, with a number of people alarmed at the need for further roadworks at that site. Good news though, the repair has now been completed and the roads and intersection are all fully open. Closing soon. The deadline for nominations for Mayor, Councillor and Community Board Member in this year's local elections is this coming Friday the 16th of August. The 16th of August is also the closing date for feedback on the Foodstuffs Resource Consent application for a new Pack and Save supermarket on Main North Road. Also closing on the 16th of August, applications for Summer With Your Neighbours funding. Coming up, from the week of Monday the 12th of August, the CNC Alliance will be installing another 445 steel piles to strengthen the foundation of the motorways bridge at QE2 Drive. That's after the bridge abutments have been deconstructed, as is happening at the moment. There's a, community bush, commu there's a Papua Nui bush community weeding day planned for this Tuesday the 13th of August. Hopefully this weather will pass and we'll get a nice day for that. The next meeting of the Redwood Business and Residence Group is also this Tuesday the 13th of August in the evening at the Christchurch Function Centre. Thanks again for connecting with Think Papua Nui. I'm really enjoying doing these weekly recap videos and I occasionally post other content as well, so please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Your subscription is appreciated, as is your feedback, either in the comments below or you can contact me using the link in the description. And finally, a reminder that Think Papua Nui is an independent initiative and not affiliated with or funded by the Christchurch City Council. Thank you to Think Papua Nui supporters, including Cyclone as a technology supplier and the team at Photo and Video International who did me a great deal on an equipment upgrade for Think Papua Nui's video shoots. Kia ora.